Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizola with another tutorial on Kirio Control UTM. In this video, I will show you the dashboard of Kirio Control, which includes how to add tiles to dashboard, how to use the configuration assistant, and how to suggest an idea for the Kirio Control Technologies company. Let's start. First of all, open your computer's browser type in the username and password, click the login button to log into the administration panel, dashboard will be the first page you will see after logging into the Kiri Control Administration panel. The configuration assistant menu will pop up, from here you can configure the internet connection and the local network connection, define traffic policy, export the current configuration, import or restore the configuration from an exported backup file, and update the license information. If you leave this option checked, the configuration assistant menu will pop up every time you log in to the Curio Control Administration panel. I don't want the configuration assistant menu to pop up every time. I will uncheck the option and click the close button. As you can see, the first tile is the Curio Control News. Here it will notify you about the upgrades and about the other news from Curio Control Technology Company. The next tile is System Health. It will show you the current system health, which includes RAM usage, CPU usage, and disk usage. The third tile is the Ethernet or the live graph tile, which shows you the current usage of your internet connection. The next tile on the right side of the monitor is System, which will show you the time of the system, the version of the Kirio control, and the name of your Kirio control. System status tile will show you how much time has spent since the Kirio control server is started. It will show you the Kirio Control update option, the Kirio Control antivirus, whether it's licensed or not, the intrusion prevention is updated or not, is the application awareness working or not, Kirio Control web filter, IPsec, Kirio VPNsec, and MyKirio, are they working currently or not. Next tile is the connectivity tile, which will show you currently which NIC is up and which NIC is down. The top active host tile will show you that which user is using the most of your internet connection in terms of download and upload. At the bottom of the page, you can see that there is an option Add Tile. If you click on the option, you can add more tiles. The tiles that are currently added will be grayed out and if you click on them, it will not work because it's already added in the dashboard. The tiles that you can add to the dashboard will be available by black color, which is traffic chart. Click on the traffic chart. The traffic chart tile will be added and it will ask from you, which chart should I show to you? The local connection or the live connection? As the live connection traffic chart tile is already added, I will choose the local connection. After you have selected the connection, click on the show chart button. It will show you the local connection usage. Press the add tile button again and click on the VPN info. It will add the VPN info tile that how many clients are currently connected through Kirio Control VPN services. If you want to remove a specific tile, just move your mouse on the tile. A setting icon will appear on the top right corner of the tile. Click the setting icon and then choose the remove this tile. The tile will be automatically removed from the dashboard. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see there is an option suggest idea. Using suggest idea option, you can suggest new ideas and express your opinion to the Curio Control Technologies company. Press the button. Here you need to enter your name and email address. 
and you will be automatically redirected to the idea management website. Write down your name and the email address. Then press the OK button. You will be automatically redirected to the idea forum. I will close it now because I don't want to add any idea. That's all for today friends. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. A sub to the channel will be also good. Till the next tutorial, have a nice time.